Hello, welcome. Don't forget to like and subscribe and click on the bell to receive notifications. Yesterday on the live show of our brother Adam Seeker, we debated a Muslim, a very proud Farid response fanboy, a fanboy of Farid, joined the conversation and we had a debate with him live on air and we started to ask him the right questions and at the end of the debate he decided to leave Islam. Imagine how embarrassing it is for the Islamic Ummah and Farid response that a fanboy of Farid joins our debate and he leaves Islam. Now listen and enjoy this debate. And I hope that many Muslims like him will leave Islam very soon because Islam is nothing but a satanic perverted religion. Watch. And yeah, Fifi must be proud that one of his fanboys just left Islam. And I think we have our brother Rob as well on the stream. Hi brother Rob. <laughs> Why is he here? Why is he here? Is Hello. Oh, hello. He, he's he's he'll be nice with you just like we are talking. We are just having a chat. And Rob, just to FYI, this is not the Farid who you... No, no, we're Farid. Just yeah. remember that. Like, okay. don't just remember that. <laughs> okay. Hey, what's up? What's up? Can you hear me? Yes, we can yes, hear Yes, I can you. hear you. All right. God bless everybody. Hey, my, uh, hey, my friend Adam Seeker. Thanks for allowing me to join in. Uh, we have a, a fanboy of Farid, I understand. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's great. Okay. I'm a deadly fan of Farid. Awesome. So, uh, Rob can you tell brother, can you tell Farid to call me on my live show or on Adam Seeker's live show so we can have fun with him? No, I don't. I don't because oh, uh, he, he will probably say that you guys not uh, fit for the debate for him. Well, he. I think he's not fit for us. This is why he's. Why, why, why don't us. you like? Uh, okay, uh, why don't you like uh, Google? Like, I mean, email himself and ask for the debate. Dude, we have we have, <laughs> the we, way, have man. <laughs> we have challenged him for many times to debate us, but the coward will never dare. And you Muslims idolize him. You think that he's your hero, but this coward, this little coward, is nothing but doing but only bro, bro, response videos, come on. right? Come on. So, so, all right. I, okay, I let's think, get. I think you're a waste of time because you have <laughs> yeah, no let's... dignity. You have no dignity, and you choose to pick his name. So, what does it say about someone like you who needs to use the fake name of uh, Farid Respond? But anyway, uh, I wanted to call in uh, Brother Adam Sika and thank you for allowing me to call in. Uh, and uh, I was listening, to, uh, and basically the topic is about uh, uh, the Ruh, right? Yes, the topic is about Ruh, and I think Adamu is also here, so I added him yeah. as well. Yeah, Adam Seeker, you're doing an amazing job, uh, brother. I don't. I did not call in to help you or something. I mean, this is your show. God bless you. God bless your ministry, brother. But uh, what I wanted to say is uh, we don't need to go to the tafsir. We don't need to go to, to the hadith. I can prove from the Quran, right? I can prove from the Quran that the ruh is Allah. It's crystal clear described in the Quran. Perfect. Yeah. Is it okay if you go uh, to chapter 3, ayah 47? Okay, let's go there. Three forty-seven. Yeah, if you can put it on the screen, that would be awesome. It's on the screen. Okay. Now, um, every person who uh, have read chapter three, especially if you start reading from uh, three forty-five uh, to three forty-eight, and so on. The context is that uh, the angel comes Hello. to visit. Adam Hello. Adamu, hold on. Let him finish his sentence. Yeah. Don't interrupt, please. Yeah. So the context is that the angel comes to see Maryam, the Islamic Maryam, and to tell her about uh, that she's going to get a son. In this case, the Islamic satanic version of Jesus, Isa, right? And look what it says. If you go to the Arabic, it says, mm -hmm. now who is talking? It's Maryam talking in this uh, chapter 3 exactly. that you see here, ayah 47. What does it say in the Arabic? She's talking, now watch guys, take notes. 
she is talking to who? To the angel. Look what she says to the angel. Qalat Rabbi. Do you see? She is calling Maryam of Islam. She is calling the, the so-called Ruh of Allah, who is supposedly, according to the Muslims, is Jibreel. She is calling him Rabbi. Now, when we read the Quran, and you are saying, Ya Rabbi, who are you talking to? You're talking to Allah, right? Supposedly. But here, Maryam is addressing the angel, the Ruh, as Rabbi, meaning the Ruh is Allah himself. And if Jesus is Ruh Allah, that means Jesus and Allah are the same person. Did you catch it? Uh, I think Farid would need some more reference. Let me go to two verses before because without that he will not comprehend. So let me help yeah. you him on that. So hold on. But did you catch I, uh, Adam? See, yes. you caught it, right? I, yes, I def I caught it. I definitely caught it. But he needs to know that who is talking to who, who became a man. So let me go to those verses first. So mm -hmm. Farid responds here. Check it out. Okay, uh, I think this is one. So it says. Uh, is Khalid Mal okay? No, not here. So 345 will come later. Well, let's go to 1916 so that we could see what is happening. 1916 to 21. Yeah, and it's basically the same because the angel, yeah. and supposedly is Jibreel, who comes to tell her, to tell Maryam, hey, Maryam, you're going to have a son. She's saying, but nobody touched me. Nobody yeah. touched me. Let, right? let, let, let me give him the verse. So here it says that Allah sent his spirit which actually created himself as you okay Adamu if you are not going to mute yourself while we are talking and you have a background noise I'm going to kick you off from the stream please mute you are you were given the time earlier to speak but you had a bad internet connection now please mute I'm going to mute him okay so here Mariam has taken a place away from for some time and Allah sent what his own spirit, it says Ruhana, our spirit. Allah is talking in pruler. So yeah. Allah sent his own spirit to her, our spirit to her, and it assumed for her the likeness of a perfect man. Yes, so and that perfect man, that same perfect man, she is the one, Maryam is the one who is ad she is addressing in chapter three, I have 47. So yes. how is she Let's addressing go back him? Now. How is she addressing him? As my, him, ya, as my lord, as my lord, ya Rabbi, Khalat Rabbi. So she, who Maryam said to the Ruh, who became a perfect man, right? The Ruh became a perfect man, and she is addressing him as my lord. Do you see it? Rabbi, ya Rabbi. When you say, when you pray, Adam Seeker, you used to be a Muslim. When you used to pray, don't you say to Allah, ya Rabbi? Yes, uh, Farid also Perfect. says that he's from India. Yeah, so now we can conclude from chapter three. And here you see, if you're going to say that that Lord, Lord can be used as a master. Let me, right? let me finish, bro. Let me finish. Uh, if you're going to say that this Lord is not Allah, then here the Islamic Maryam, the mother of Isa, is committing shirk by calling the angel Jibreel. If, you, if you're going to say, the Quran doesn't say that, but if you Muslims are going to say that this person that she's calling my Lord, Ya Rabbi, Rabbi, then the Islamic Maryam, the mother of Isa, is committing the shirk. highest form of sin, which is shirk, which is blasphemy. Now, you Muslims need to deal with this ayah. Chapter 3, ayah 47 is the coffin on, or sorry, the nail on the coffin of your fake prophet Muhammad. Deal with it. Okay, so Farid, actually, you said that R Lord can be something else, right, Farid? You said like it can so be not... used for uh, like. Uh, I understand. I things. understand. I understand. Prove it. But Prove like it you are, you are right now. I, you okay, are. I challenge. I challenge. Okay. You. Okay. Rob, when, Rob, when, Rob, when you Rob, just like uh, like in, in the court and you call Rob, the judges in India, we call judges in India. Rob like and Rob. Farid, hold on. Rob and Farid, both of you, hold on. Just listen to me, Farid. Forget the English translation. Go to the Arabic. Rab. Can you call any senior king or your prime minister Rab? Full stop. 
forget the english translation no. look at the arabic so well, you are saying that lord can be called somebody else that's a translation look at the arabic rabbi rabbi rab so when who you say is a rabbi rab she's she's calling him rabbi which means in actually the arabic, you know what Allah the suppressing thing can i say one thing yes uh, in uh, in my language uh, like in the tamil like so clear in the 340 it says my god okay perfect kalat rabbi so, so god exactly so in your tamil <laughs> translation they translated it right for did you, you catch what he said did you, did you catch he exactly. just confirmed what i said so exactly see, because maryam just committed shirk if you if, 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 if we go by your argument your muslim argument and i want to the audience to listen carefully he just confirmed it that maryam just said my god to supposedly the ruh of allah who muslims claim in their tafsir right in their commentaries because the quran doesn't say that the ruh is uh, jibril nowhere you you won't find one ayah in the quran where it says that the ruh is uh, jibril you won't find it so yeah, here i showed him maryam herself maryam herself just proved that the ruh is allah himself did you catch it yep by calling that same ruh rabbi and rabbi is only for allah in the quran you can tap dance all you like you can do gym, mental gymnastics all you like as a muslim but you cannot save yourself from chapter 3 ayah 47 where maryam herself is calling the ruh rabbi my lord my god and the, the brother here at least he's honest this one be farid he just confirmed even his own language the translation of this ayah says my god what do you want more <laughs> and 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 uh, the whole argument over here is that farid actually knows a little bit of arabic uh, uh, because it says qala okay. rabbi so, so yeah so adam sikh do you see how do you see how and that's what i always say those poor victims in islam who do not know arabic unfortunately and you said it more than 75% i think even around 90% of the ummah the islamic ummah don't know arabic and if you don't read what the arabic says and you don't have a good translation of chapter 3 ayah 47 you won't understand that that ruh is being addressed by maryam the mother of isa as ya rabbi rabbi qalat rabbi she and said actually it's like Lord. a big confusion here in my language mm -hmm. why it says my god because mm -hmm. the, because god. it is not... it is my god <laughs> rabbi only allah is called in the quran rabbi no one else right you can say a big to problem me, here actually yeah of exactly course it, so my friend i advise you to think again and don't ever listen to your scholars who have lied to you who have lied to you that the ruh is not god himself you muslims always say allah has no spirit allah has no spirit allah has no ruh. well that means allah is a dead idol who has no spirit how can you be alive how can you be call yourself a, a live being right a being that can can breathe uh, is alive without a spirit if allah has no spirit that makes him what a statue it makes him an idol so you're going to uh, dig even a bigger hole for allah and for yourself but here chapter 3 ayah 47 is crystal clear proof that the truth is allah and since jesus who you call Isa is called Ruh Allah. That means Isa is Allah and Allah is Isa. Thank you very much. And remember, remember chapter 4, Ayah 171. Chapter 4, maybe you can put it on the screen, brother. Chapter 4, Ayah 171, 171. It clearly says, Yeshua, Kalimat Allah wa Ruh. Ruh Allah. Yeah, Ruh Allah and Kalimat Allah. So, Watch, guys. The I also says that actually, like you know, um, it, he was cast like, down. Uh, it's Kalimat Allah that was cast down that existed with Allah on Maryam. Al Qaha, Al Qaha means cast it down. So the Ruh, who is Isa, existed with Allah in the same place from the very beginning, and Allah cast the Ruh on Maryam. What does that mean? That means Isa is uncreated. He is the Ruh. The same ruh, the same ruh, 
of Allah himself. So Isa, even in Islam, is Allah because he's Ruh Allah. Deal with it. I really, my friend, no one here hates you, Mr. Farid responds, but you really need to think and I advise you to do your homework. Yeah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, but yeah, I don't know how to explain because uh, yeah, my friend, you can see my translation Rich, is like really, yeah, really. Yeah, rewatch this video again and, and do your homework again and listen to what we said during this very conversation and I advise you to leave Islam and accept Jesus Christ, who Ooh, is Ruh Allah. How can I leave Allah Islam like so suddenly? Like, I, I have to. No, no, no. I, I won't. I, I'll just like ask Farid. I'm serious. Okay. <laughs> you can you can go and ask Farid as well. So let let me give you certain other things as well. Yeah. Let's, let's see if you, Farid. Right? Let's come. Farid yeah. deceive you. Yeah. So Farid instead of you. asking Farid, why would you ask Farid? Because he is the most deceptive scholar ever. Exactly. He he actually asked to. He's like me. He doesn't depend upon any like early scholars. So you can like okay. So basically, what you are telling me that all the early scholars who lived near the time of Muhammad with the Sahabi or Tabi or Taba Tabi'in are stupid idiots and somebody who is born 1400 years after he knows far more No, than like, uh, like uh, the, the, the scholars that, no, bro, bro, you have to understand like for example the pastors now like uh, they all they everyone inspired by the God but some of them they say the word of God same like that also like okay, not every scholar, scholars like directly which, inspired from the God but they say the word of God like uh, Allah you know Okay, so word of Allah. So tell me one chapter in Quran, one verse in Quran, which says that Allah can reveal things through Angel Jibrail to anyone after Muhammad. Mm. My friend. Okay. He, he has he has no answer for that. We already proved. We already proved. We no, already it, proved. Brother Adam Seeker, we already proved that that Ruh cannot be Jibreel. It's Allah Himself. It is Isa because Isa is called Ruh Allah, Kalimat Allah, the word of Allah that Allah cast down from heaven. From where? From Jannah. On Maryam. He Al Qaha in the Arabic in chapter 4, I 171 says Al Qaha in the Arabic, it means cast down. That means Isa, who is Ruh Allah, who is Allah himself, is cast down from heaven to Maryam. This is why Maryam did not need to sleep with anyone because by the power of God, she's a virgin, remember? By the power of God, she conceives. Jesus has no father. We've always asked Muslims, why even in your Quran, Isa has no father? Why? Why has he no father? Why only Isa? Why not Muhammad? Why not Moses? Because the Quran, even the Quran confirms crystal clear that Isa is Ruh Allah. Isa is Kalimat Allah, the uncreated word of Allah, the uncreated Ruh of Allah that is cast down. And even in, as we showed you in chapter 3, Ayah 47, mm -hmm. she is addressing, she is addressing that same Ruh as her Lord, her God, Rabbi, even Maryam. If you're going to say that Maryam is made a mistake, or you have to deal with it that she's committing shirk in the Quran. Can Maryam in, in the Quran commit shirk? Is it no. <laughs> no. Okay, Thank I you. accept that. I kind of like okay, okay, I accept that. Uh, uh, like she really did it's not an angel. I accept that. Thank uh, you. So okay. if it's not the angel and uh, if it's not Jibreel, what who is it then? Since Isa is God. called Ruh Allah, <laughs> it's Ruh Allah. Isa is Ruh Allah. Isa is Kalimat Allah. What, what, is, what, does that, what, does, what does it make Isa then? If even the Quran says that, what does it make Isa? I want an answer. Be, be honest, <clears throat> my friend. Mr. Farid responds. Be honest. If Isa is Kalimat Allah that is cast down from heaven, on Mary, he is Ruh Allah. He's oh my God, Allah. I don't know. Like, what is okay, he? You, you guys just trapped me. Like really trapped me i don't know how to answer this thing okay so <laughs> okay. why are you why are you muslim why no, are like, you still okay. i'm sincere listen I'm maybe sincere with maybe you. I, I don't I'm know how very... to answer yeah my friend listen. but this I'm is sincere this thing with i'm you. so clear it's not you, it's not friend. jibrio yeah just a second. Uh, no nobody cannot convince me it's a it's a it's a jibrio because even in the translation it said Thank my god you. And, uh, so why are you muslim and, 
if we just confirmed, <laughs> you just agreed with me, you agreed with brother Adam Seeker, Isa is Allah, Allah is Isa, Isa is Ruh Allah, his Kalimat Allah, the uncreated word of Allah, that existed with Allah, that Allah himself sent down on Maryam. Why are you still a Muslim? Why are you not a Christian? And we are trying to be honest with you, my friend. And you are seeing, we are sincere, we're not lying to you. You, you, you see, you're not stupid, right, my friend? You're not stupid. You can think. You seem like a very honest and sincere guy. You're not like the other Muslims. Unfortunately, nine out of ten times we get jokers who don't want to have a nice conversation. But you, uh, I'm st you're starting actually to force me to respect you because you just showed everyone that you can think. And you just confirmed. He, it cannot be Jibreel. Now again, if Isa is Kalimat Allah, if Isa is Ruh Allah, what, do you, what more evidence do you need that okay. Isa is let Allah? Me, let me, okay, let me come like this. Uh, if, it's, um, if the word of Allah is the eternal, and yes. Allah is eternal. Uncreated. And, uh, yeah, uncreated, and it's a co-equal. And uh, like another uh, reference, they say is uh, the gospel. It's which is like word of Allah, right? So maybe, oh, okay. Maybe what? you you, you just what confuse Paul. yourself. Maybe what what finish a sentence? You already confuse yourself. Okay, okay, and okay. That okay. Is a huge I'm, just, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Mary cannot call. Uh, like word of God, like the word of God alone cannot come to Mary and say, uh, like something, you know. Write something like, because you do you understand the, uh, what I'm saying right now? Like no. the word of God cannot come alone, and he cannot speak. So who like, said Quran word of God speak. came? Okay, wait, 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 wait. Did I not show you Quran chapter number nineteen verse uh, uh, chapter nineteen verse seventeen? Who came to Mary and talk? Please read. Please read. It's in front of you on the screen. Let me zoom in a little. Who came to Mary and spoke? Chapter Spirit 19, of Spirit of Allah came to Mary and what did he became? He, he shaped himself as a perfect man. What? Bashar. He shaped himself mm -hmm. as a perfect man and then he started talking to Maryam. And what did Maryam said? My Lord. <laughs> My Rab. So my she's calling him, yeah she's calling she's calling him my god she's calling the ruh and since isa is the ruh and she's calling him my god even your translation my friend you just admit it even your translation is translating it as my god what more proof do you need that that ruh is allah himself and since the quran is calling all isa ruh allah kalimat allah you just admit it it's the the kalima is uncreated the ruh is uncreated. What more proof do you need that even in Islam, Isa is called, even in the Quran, Isa is called Allah? Now, uh, let me prove it. Let me prove it even further. If this is not enough, can you put <coughs> chapter 9, ayah 31? No, 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 no. I, I'm convinced. I, I'm convinced it's, it's not a, like, it's not, it's not a, it's no, no, not my a, friend, I understand. Like, Just check this yeah, out. Take this notes, is a very important, notes. that's yeah. a very important verse. So, Farid. Yeah, let me read it, if that's okay, guys. Uh, that... Yes, but like, just give me one second, please. Farid, no. this verse okay. of Quran is a huge, huge pointer towards it because in Arabic, it's 110% clear. 110% clear. Rob Christian, brother, carry on. Okay, you see the screen, right, uh, Farid? Yeah. I, I will okay. use one word at a time. Uh, yeah. so that you could read yeah you can highlight what i'm reading brother yes i am uh, it says that. yeah it says it uh, so what is 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 as Instead Rab, Arbaban. Arbaban is Rab. It's a ruler of ruler of Rab. Yeah. Okay. Arbab in the Arabic means God's Lord. So it here it as deities basically as gods. Yes. Instead of 
Allahi wal Masiha. Do you see it? In the Arabic, it says Allahi wal Masiha, meaning they have taken. So here, basically, your prophet is attacking the Christians, and it's saying that the Christians, some Christians, they have taken their scholars, their rabbis. Let's say I'm a scholar. Let's say Adam Seeker is a monk, right? Some Christians have taken us, that's what the ayah is saying, they have taken us as their gods. But no, if we continue reading, it says, instead of who? Allah. Wa, do you see the, the little word? Highlight the little word, wa. You wa. see it? Wa is and. And, and. in wa. the Arabic it means and. Wa al-Masih. That means, who are the real arbab? Who are the real lords? Allah and the Messiah. And I will tell you, Farid, not a single Quranic scholar will write it in a true translation. They will add commas or stuff like that or they a have to, lie. Yeah. to deceive you. Yeah, they have and, to lie. Yeah. And, 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 and you can read your own translation and you will see that they do not translate this verse as is. Why? Because this verse is a huge destruction yeah. on the Islamic point of view. Yeah, and, 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 and pay attention. It says they have taken, again, they have taken their scholars and monks as lords, as gods, instead of Allah and, and you need to pay attention to the word and, what? And Al-Masih. So again, who should they have taken literally as lords? Allah and the Messiah, not the scholars and the monks. So my friend, again, my friend Farid, we don't hate you. We are only showing you what the Quran says. And only, again, and only the truth can set you free, my friend. Right here, right now. We prove to you that Isa is Ruh Allah. We prove to you that Isa is Kalimat Allah, the uncreated and, uh, uh, word and uncreated Ruh of Allah. On top of that, Maryam herself is calling the Ruh. Rabbi, my God. And chapter 9 is the final nail on the coffin of Muhammad, the fake prophet of Islam. He had to admit that the real gods are Allah and the Messiah. Please leave Islam, my friend. Leave Islam for your salvation. Don't do it for me. Don't do it for me. Do it for yourself. My friend, I've been doing this for so many years. We don't hate you. You Muslims think that we hate you. No, we don't hate you. We are trying to show you what the Quran says, what other books says, because you have been deceived your whole life. And that's the whole point. Only the truth and only the okay. truth, my friend. Can I'll take do you. one thing. I, I'll do one thing, okay? I, I, I can clearly understand what you guys are saying, like clearly, like clearly understand. And uh, I will debate yeah. my friends about it if yeah, i mm -hmm. yeah i'm gonna debate my friend yeah my friend do you see that we are not lying you're you're watching and you're reading with us did you see that we if i if, if, are I, if misreading? i'm not if, wait, wait, I wait, 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 wait. if i'm Did not I convinced with my friends if i'm not convinced with their friends mm -hmm. i will like definitely convert into christianity and i will like say the witness in this like three guys after the but how I, about, i'm gonna like debate how it. How I'm about you, him. if you do not get convinced, you have to bring him here. Okay. Because because you can't even read Arabic, so he can go left, right, and center with you just to show you X, Y, Z, or try to deceive you. So if you are not convinced, you have to promise me that you will have to bring him here. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. and you know All what right? I like about this guy, Adam Seeker? He starts now. And that's what I unfortunately don't see for many Muslims. This person, and I'm telling it to your face and everybody is listening, my friend. You seem like a guy who can think. Think. Don't allow Farid response. Farid, who calls himself Farid response. Don't allow such person to deceive you. These people are doing it for fame. They are doing it for money, my friend. You should have been knowing this by now. We are here. We are here showing you what the Quran word for word is saying did we lie to you did we deceive you no we are reading it and you are reading with us chapter 9 i 31 is crystal clear
that the lords, the gods are Allah wa and the Messiah. What more proof do you want? And let me give you a rebuttal that they will give you on that. And you need to know this rebuttal. None of the Christian believes that there are three gods. Because exactly. Quran is the only one which says that Christian believes in three gods. There is no sect of Christianity who would say that we believe in three gods. Number one. Number two. Quran is the only book which says that Maryam is part of the Godship which is also false. No Christian sect believe that Maryam is part of Lordship or Godship or Trinity. However, you may like to take it. None. Quran is the only book which claims that. Yeah. So how false, how more false that God has to be that the God so-called. I'm sorry There are some Christians that, worship Mary though. No, 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 no Christian worship Mary. No, that's it is a lie, my friend. Some Christian make take I, her. I have a friend like they say oh, no. they worship Mary. Farid, let me answer, brother. You you state something. Let me answer. You stated some Christian does that. Let me answer. They do not worship Mary. They take her as an intercessor. There are so many sect in Islam who take Data Darba, Data Sahab, or uh, Muhammad, or some of their scholars as intercessor. Am I lying? Am I lying? Even, even Muhammad is an intercessor in Islam. Yeah, Muhammad, Muhammad. I can forgive Muhammad on that because. No, bro. Like, uh, wait, wait, wait. I, I, I had a friend. Like, he's a Catholic, and he says that he worship Mary. No, that's a lie. <laughs> that's a lie. No, no one worships Mary. They take her as intercessor. Ask her. Ask him. Is Mary part of your Trinity? Ask her. Let's see what he says. Now, let, let me let me address this person, and I think he he, he only heard what others say. My friend, mm. Catholics Catholics are Trinitarian Christians, right? They are Trinitarian Christians. They worship the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit as one God, one God. But there is no problem in asking in Christianity, even if you go to the Bible, if you ask someone to pray for you so when you pray and you ask someone to pray for you i can ask now he brother adam seeker if i'm sick or i need prayers right i need someone to pray for me i can say to adam seeker adam seeker please pray for me so catholics when they pray they only ask for mary or even other saints to pray for them there is no problem with that if, if Catholics actually believe, like uh, that's not shirk because you are asking only to pray for them. But my friend, let me tell you a little secret. When you pray five times a day, when you pray five times a day, don't you say, Assalamu alaikum, ayyuhan nabi wa rahmatullahu wa barakatuh. Yep. Yep. What, so you are saying to Muhammad directly, you are, say, you are speaking to Muhammad, you say, Assalamu alaikum, ayyuhan nabi, peace be upon you, Muhammad. So you are actually that, saying salam. In Islam? Isn't that you are in Islam? actually saying salam or Muhammad. So you, I was uh, not a Muhammad or Nabi, which which is actually Muhammad. You are no. directly speaking to Muhammad. So hence Muhammad is omnipresent because you are speaking to him in your salat, and that's the end of the salat. You have to do it on the right side and on the left side. So how can you speak directly to a human? Because Quran is pretty clear, 100% clear that Muhammad bro, bro, is bro, just bro. a man. Like my, my mind is like not going anywhere. I'm just like uh, it's strict into that only the topic. Why yeah, say is my God? Yeah, yeah yes. that is the like, topic. So I, I is have Muhammad? to address that. I have to clear it, like uh, clarify mm -hmm. with my friends and like my major scholars. And uh, I will, if I get convinced, I, I think I cannot, I don't know, like, I don't know myself. Like, uh, uh, maybe bro, bro, you myself. already, let's be honest, you already convinced because else you need to say that Maryam is a mushrika in the Quran, in the Quran, in the heart of the Quran. She's calling, the supposedly, you Muslims claim it's, the, it's, it's angel, it's an angel, it's Jibri. She is calling the angel, my God, and you just read it from your own. Uh, translation, right? You just confirmed it. How? Oh. <laughs> anyway, my friend, it's it's your soul, yeah. it's your spirit, it's your salvation, my friend. 
You don't, you don't need Rob Christian. You don't need LM Seeker. You don't need Farid Response. You don't need your Imam. You can think uh, for yourself. I mean, you're, you seem like a smart person, my friend. Think. You don't need, you don't need to be dependent on anybody. Because let me tell you something. Here, Adam Seeker is a perfect example. This brother here who is hosting this amazing live show, he used to be a Muslim like you for more than 30 years. His parents are still Muslims, maybe. His, fa his families are still Muslims. But he started to think and he saw that Islam is nothing but a pagan cult that is so messed up, even the Quran. Go to any chapter, any chapter, it's full of mistakes and messed up things. Messed up things. It gave me stress. Okay. No. I just, uh, I just like invite my friends then, uh, and you talk with them. Yeah, you know no, that's I what we're always asking, my friend. Yeah, we have been I feel always like so asking sleepy. It's like Muslims early in the morning. And and they don't call. They don't call. Why is Farid not calling me? Because I'm going to humiliate him, and he knows that. He knows that I'm going to humiliate him. That's why he does not call. Have you asked yourself why? He always uh, comes with an excuse. Well, Rob, Christian and Christian Prince, they don't debate and they don't show their face like uh, other people. My friend, we don't show our face because we know what, how dangerous Islam can be for, for people from the Middle East. We have families there. But when we open our live shows, we even ask Muslims, call in. We want to have a respectful discussion. Why are the heroes? Why is uh, Muhammad Hijab? Why is uh, Ali Dawa? Why is Adnan Rashid supposedly the heroes of Speaker's Corner? Why are they not calling? Why is Farid himself not calling? Because they know what will happen to them because we are Arabic speakers. And when you're going to use Taqiyya and Mecca of Allah himself, Mecca, the deception of Allah, you are not going to go away with it because we know the language. We know what the Arabic Quran says. They know what will happen to them. That's why they don't dare to call us. It's, no, a, it's, a, it's a sad reality. Exactly. And Farid, the problem over here is, why do I not show my face? Do you know that? You know that very well, right? Okay. For your family. Okay. So, because yeah. of my family, because what they will do to my family, because yeah. I'm not even in India. They will not do nothing, bro. Like, come on. They will okay. not do nothing. Have yeah. you, have you right. seen what? Okay. So that's another topic. And I will show you <laughs> whenever you want to come. In Pakistan, how many people has been killed? because they did blasphemy, even just to say that Muhammad is a muhtaj versus like, Muhammad is not my friend. If you, call, you if, you, if you call Muhammad a black guy, you will be killed. Bro, 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 bro. Come on, yes. come on, just be honest. Like, I, I know many, many of the Christian, uh, like uh, Muslims, who are ex-Muslim, mm -hmm. they show their face and they live in peaceful they? India. Where are they? They don't in get India, Okay, India is, how many Muslims are there in India? More like a lot. How many percentage? Give me the percentage. Three percent, five percent, ten percent. Okay, Google. Now the second problem here is in Pakistan, the Article Act 298, 298 A B C, and 295 A B C. Did you actually read those Pakistan articles? Sucks. It, okay. it doesn't do anything with the Islam. Thank you. you know, so, it's the, it's so, the country. It's so the where country am sucks. I? So where am I? So where am I? Because it's it, don't say it's a Islam, bro. Like just don't okay. blame Islam. Okay, it's okay. Just well, a check, this out. check like, this out. Check this out. Check this out. Check this out. Is this Islam? Is this Islam? Is this Islam? Read it. Is this Islam, brother? Read it. Farid, I think please this, read. I think this is a daif hadith. You, you quoted it uh, with, with this uh, with this yeah yeah yeah. Okay. Is this is this daif? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so, no, oh, check oh, this out. Is this is this Daif? Okay, let me show you another one. Is this Daif? Very Daif. Let me show you another one. Is this Daif? Let me show you another one. Is this Daif? How about another one? Is this Daif? <laughs> let me show you another one. Is yeah. this Daif? How He's about laughing, this one? Bro, he knows it's true. He's laughing. How about this one? When Ali burned the people who apostated. Is this Daif? This is Sayyid al-Bukhari. Oh, sorry. This is Daif al-Bukhari. What, what, what did you say? Ali himself. Ali, the cousin of Muhammad, burned people yes. alive for leaving Islam? Yes, sir. That's what the Sayyid al-Bukhari 6922 is saying. You heard him uh, laughing. So he knows. <laughs> okay, he let knows. me show you another one. Let me show you another one. Now, this is my own articles. You can verify them whenever you want to. This is apostasy in Islam. Uh, this here shows how many countries have the apostasy law because people cannot read let me just zoom in 
these are the countries afghanistan brunei comoros i don't even know where it is iran jordan kuwait malaysia maldives i don't know what this is morocco oman qatar saudi arabia somalia sudan syria united arab emirates and yemen all of these countries have some kind of apostate law whether you will be killed or put to jail and your family custody of your child and marriage will be nullified and etc number 2 Hmm. Islamic sects are four major sects Hanafi Maliki Shafi Hanbali and Shia sect is Jafri all four Sunni sects and the one major Shia sect all of them unanimously agree that apostate should be killed the only difference is how much time you need to give them before killing them and that is why you have 13 major countries in the world <coughs> who has these apostate laws excuse me and blasphemy laws based on the narrative of quran and sunna so you cannot call pakistan a false country yes there are so many problems in pakistan i am not dis i am not disagreeing on that but when it comes to these laws they are according to the sunna and the sharia which is the hadood allah of allah basically exactly Uh, bro i want to ask him a question and this is this is very honest and sincere question a human dignity respectful uh, question to any person who uses his uh, brain not a caveman mentality i have a question farid uh, do you hear me yeah okay you say that islam is a religion from god right yeah of course okay okay Now let's say your mother your sister your wife lives in the time of Muhammad in the 7th century and Muhammad in his time used to allow to do mut'a with muslim women for a couple of hours let's say Muhammad and and his sahaba Ali Abu Bakr and so on they come to your mother god forbid but they pick imagine yourself they come to your mother they come to your sister they come to your daughter and they say uh i will give you money i will give you uh, my jacket and I, i want to sleep with you for two hours what do you think about is this a religion is muhammad truly uh, a, a a pervert or is he truly a prophet think my friend how can this be how can muta come from allah and this is chapter 4 ayah 24 of the quran how can allah be god allowing prostitution with a woman like your mother sister and daughter and you call muhammad a prophet go ahead answer be honest mm, maybe it's wonderful at the time exactly so that's what me. that's what we are saying that's what rob said it was there for, according to sunni Muta was present at the time of Muhammad, correct? Now, my friend, he is also not answering the question again. Imagine it's you your are sister, there at it's that time. It's your daughter. It's your mother. Your mother is in the seventh century. Your daughter and sister. If I'm not sure if you have a sister or maybe your wife. They are living in the time of Muhammad. Muhammad, Ali, Abu Bakr, uh, all of the Sahaba, uh, Talha, and so on, as Zubair. They come to your mother. and they say to your mother your mother man who gave birth to you they say i want to give you money and i want to sleep with you for let's say 3 hours and then i go i i go my way you go your way how can muhammad be a prophet from god allowing prostitution he himself committed prostitution he did muta'a his sahaba did muta'a and allah allowing it in chapter 4 ayah 24 it's still in the quran to till today chapter 4 ayah 24 is in the quran hmm. be honest i want i want to allow that i want allow that a woman like your mother a sister and daughter hey brother he said he won't allow that <coughs> he won't allow that so your prophet is a fake prophet then if he was a a, a pervert how can this how can muhammad be a, a man of god be honest no bro I was Muslim for like, like, like long. Uh, if you say suddenly to leave my religion, why you know, like how it's long? really, really hard. You like, basically just Adam Seeker. He just basically left. 
He, yeah, he just basically, him? because he said, I will not allow it. So you are going against Muhammad, you are going against Allah himself in the Quran and in the Sunnah of Muhammad. Because Muhammad did muta, his Sahaba did muta. You just said, I don't allow it. That means you are disagreeing with your Prophet. You are dis disagreeing with your Quran. That means you're already out of Islam. Guys, give the, this guy a rose because he just left Islam. Everyone in the live chat, give him a rose. He just left Islam. No, 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 no. Yes, no, I, I have to, I have to research. You said, you said it. I don't allow. That means you don't. I have research, bro. Like, come on. Like, like, I, I, like, okay, I understand what you said. Like, you know, it, it's really, I understand what you said. But I want to talk with my friends and my father and my family as this question, what you was asking to me. I clearly understand what you're saying. Yeah. My and friend, I, you just like if we don't get just... satisfied answer, like yeah. I'm a human, okay? I have a heart. I'm yeah. not like a like ignorant. So you're not like guy, your prophet. You know? You're not like your prophet because your your no, prophet. Don't say like my no prophet. Like let's come. Like muta. you're talking about me. Like I'm talking about myself, okay? Yeah, my my friend. So I'm we not are talking like ignorant supposedly human. about a man who calls himself the last prophet, the seal of all the prophets, the best of all prophets, the best example. You're saying, you just said, and everybody heard you, Muhammad is basically a pervert who is sleeping with a, a, a woman like your mother, your sister. Imagine if you have two sisters. Muhammad is sleeping with one of your sisters, basically, in the 7th century, and saying that Allah is allowing it. How can this be God, and how can Muhammad be a prophet of God? He's sleeping with a woman like your mother, only for two or three hours, Paying her money like a whore, sorry to say, but that's the the, the true, that's the reality. Treating okay, her like can a whore. I get one chance? Okay, I'll just invite my friend and uh, you talk with him tomorrow. Invite okay. him right now. Why not? Why, yeah, why not now? No, it's early morning in the in the India, like uh, he, he won't pick up. He will sleep sure, in Sure, no that. problem. Sure, it's no problem. Okay, 4, 4, but what our yeah. brother Rob is saying, it's right there, as well in the hadiths, clearly. There is a whole chapter in Sahih al-Muslim. These are one of the most authentic books of Ahadith, as you know. Yeah. Sahih al-Muslim, the whole chapter in the book of marriage, there is a whole chapter called Mut'a marriage, the temporary nikah marriage. Okay, you can translate it marriage, but anyhow, I'm not going to go into the linguistics of nikah for the time being, just for your sake right now. And you see how many people have contracted the marriage, how many people did that, whether for three days, it says three, three, three sa'at. So sa'at can be actually translated as three hours, three days, three months, it does not matter. And you mm -hmm. see how, how many ahadiths are here uh, for this particular mut'a, which is like, let's assume that you are living there. What is mut'a? You give some woman, you give some woman some money, and you call it not money. You call it, uh, you call it something else. I forgot what you call it. Um, whatever. So, and instead of just saying money for sex, you are naming it something else, and then after that, you are saying okay, bye bye. So, what is it? Isn't it prostitution? And by the way, this book actually says this chapter says it was permitted, then abrogated, then permitted, then abrogated. And then it will be forbidden under the day of resurrection. Now, yeah, the problem other hadith, is actually other hadith prove this wrong, contradict this hadith because mm -hmm. it says that Omar for, so forbid it. Yes, exactly. So, so, which one is correct? Was it Omar who abrogated? And since when can Omar abrogate muta? Since when can Omar abrogate anything? And and why is the? I mean, the ayah still is in the Quran, chapter four, ayah twenty-four. Exactly. Uh, and someone is asking in the last chat. Uh, about the following. Uh, have you ever heard, my friend Farid, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear. Yeah, you seem like a really respectful guy. I, I, I like you, my friend, and you're actually forcing us to respect you because you're thinking, you're thinking. Have you ever heard of Abdullah ibn Abi Sarh? Oh. Mm -hmm. Have you heard of him? Yep. Okay. Can you, can you put the eye on the screen, brother Adam C.K.? Yes. Chapter 23, chapter 23, ayah. Uh, what was it again? 14, if I'm not mistaken. Quran 23, 
think uh, it was IF14, but I'm not sure. 14. Hold on. I can show you. I have a whole live stream on this one where I have shown from nine different tafasir what it is. Yes. Ahsan al Khaliqin. Yeah. Now, okay. You see, if you read the ayah, it says, then we finish, f uh, fashioned for. for uh, then fashioned we the drop a cloth, a blood cloth. Then finish, fashioned we uh, the cloth, a little lump, and all the way. Then to the last part, it says, "Fatabarakallahu ahsanul khaliqin," meaning, "So blessed be Allah, the best of creators." Now, if you go to the tafsir for this ayah, pick any tafsir. If you go, for example, to Tafsir Jalalain, right? Tafsir Jalalain, the teacher and a student, this is why they are called Jalal, Jalalain, the teacher and the student, both are called Jalal. You will see that this part, Fatabarakallahu Ahsanul Khaliqeen, blessed be Allah, the best of creators. This last part, this last sentence of the ayah, do you know what the context is behind it, Mr. Fari? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know it? Okay, so basically Which the story goes like this. Muhammad was so, reciting the ayah. Adam seek it just a second, bro. Uh, Muhammad was reciting the ayah and he stopped before this sentence, before Fatabarakallah Ahsan al Khaliqin. And the scribe, the scribe that we mentioned, Abdullah ibn Abi Sarh, he started to read the ayah. And then he says, He, who? Abdullah ibn Abi Sarh says, Fatabarakallahu Ahsan al Khaliqin. Muhammad liked it and he said, Yes, yes, yes. Put that also on paper or basically in the back in the old days. Uh, you used to write ayahs on animal skin, on bones, on stones, right? So the scribe, Abdullah ibn Abi Sirh, said, Hey, wait, these are my words. Fatabarakallah Ahsan al Khaliqin. These are my words. That means if Muhammad are asking me to write them down and say this is Quran, that means I'm a prophet like Muhammad. And what did Abdullah ibn Abi Sirh do? He was smart, he was like you. He thought, hey, Muhammad is stealing my words and he makes it Quran. So what did he do? He left Islam and he went to Mecca and he flee. <laughs> and when Muhammad heard about it, he said to his Sahaba, even if Abdullah ibn Abi Sirh who just left Islam, even if he holds to the curtains of the Kaaba, you must slaughter him. You must kill him. Okay. okay, and and just to add to this, to know the whole context, I have shown nine different tafasir in my video over here that I'm showing right now. This is like if you can see, this is tafsir uh, al bayzuvi Then you will go to another tafsir. The same thing is showing over here. It says that uh, uh, about uh, Ibn Sarah. Then there is another tafsir. This is uh, al bezuvi Now I'm going to change the tafsir. And another tafsir. And then another tafsir. This is another tafsir. Okay. And then another tafsir. This is Kurtubi as well. Bro, and this is everywhere. This is everywhere. Exactly. This so story I'm is well, well documented. Ibn Abi Sarh, Abdullah Ibn Abi Sarh, described the one who used to write the Quran for Muhammad. He immediately knew. He was not stupid, man. He could read and write. And remember, in the 7th century, not many people could write and read. Most of them were illiterate, right? Exactly. And he said that... This guy either... knew. He said, if Muhammad is a prophet and he's using my words, he's stealing my words, and he said, this is Quran, that means I'm a prophet like Muhammad. And he knew. Muhammad is a or, or, or he said, Or he said, or Muhammad is Kazab, or Muhammad hmm? is a liar. That's yes. what he said because he said these are my words. He said yeah. because I, if Muhammad has received this as a revelation, then I have received it as a revelation as well. Otherwise, Muhammad is a liar or I am the prophet as well. And this yes. is not just we are saying it. I'm showing you on the screen as well. There are so many uh, tafasir which are actually saying the same thing as you can see that I've shown Tibrisi, Kurtubi, Bezuvi, you name it. Yeah. All of them saying that. And this is the link I'm putting on the chat as yeah. well, live chat for everyone. Exactly. So here, Abdullah bin Abi Sarh, he knew Muhammad is a scam. He's a fake. He's a fake prophet. He left Islam and he went uh, to, to Mecca. And it was Uthman, his brother through suckling, right? 
his brother through sucking, basically his adopted brother, we can say, right? For the time, for the time being, yeah. he stood in front of Muhammad and said, no, please don't kill him. Please don't kill him, right? Uthman and Muhammad, was so, and Muhammad yeah. was so angry and he, he told all his people, why did, when I was quiet, why, like this is, this is, uh, this is the, the Siratun Nabi where this is mentioned, all of it, and I'm showing it from the Siratun Nabi over here as well. And Muhammad was so angry on that, that why didn't you not kill him right there and then, oh, all the Sahabis? Yeah, why well, were you I, waiting I winked, for me? I winked, I winked, Muhammad said, right? I used my yeah. eye. You didn't pay attention. You should have killed him. <laughs> and this is, this is in Siratun Nabi, section 819. Yeah. I'm showing it on the screen as well. You can go and download Siratun Nabi, read section 819 of it, and you mm. will see all the story. He's like, why didn't you guys not kill him? I was quiet. I, sh I, I already gave the order. If mm -hmm. Uthman was saying that, <coughs> why did you accept his verdict? Why didn't you kill me? Kill him? Because yeah. I already said that. Yeah. Uh, my friend, can you go back to the I, the I itself again, chapter 23? Uh, if, if that's not enough, the same ayah actually proves that Muhammad is a liar. Can you put it on the screen again, bro? If you don't mind. Sorry, I'm talking on mute. Hold on. I forgot. <laughs> so, uh, which one was that? Nine. Twenty-three for twenty-three fourteen. Fourteen. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Because there, it's like, yeah. Please carry on. You, you can uh, have that. Scroll down. Scroll down. Yep. Okay. Ask look what it says. Thing. Look what it says. Then fashioned we, the drop a cloth. Then we fashioned we a cloth, a little flesh. My friend, are you listening, Ferry? Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. Okay. Yeah. I'm now, I have, a, have you ever uh, took any biology classes in school? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now, when you have a blood clot, and look, the eye is in front of you. Alaka means blood clot. What does blood clot mean? A drop of blood. Like, uh, no, no, like... clot. no, clot. Clot. Blood clot. What does that mean? A blood clot. Uh... A dead blood. It's dead a... blood. It's dead blood. Okay. Dead. So it's dead. basically, it's the I is saying, yeah, the I is saying that you Muslims are created from a blood clot. You are basically dead, and the dead blood becomes alive. So basically, Muslim babies, Muslim embryos, again, Muslim embryos are zombies, according to this ayah, because you are created from <laughs> dead blood, blood clot. And that blood, that blood becomes life tissue. How is this possible? How is, how is Muhammad not a fake? Okay, person? can you show me like any strongest evidence that uh, like more stronger than this uh, Islam okay. is a false? Hold on, hold Please. on. Let's finish this one first. Now, then what happened is Allah created that into bones and then he Bones were created over flesh. So in an embryology class, so who, what were bones connected with? That that uh, that cord that gives the food to the baby in the mother's womb, was it actually connected to bones first and then flesh? This is how derogatory it yeah. is. Yeah, and basically, scholars... brother, you, you can say, God forbid, if a Muslim woman, she is carrying a child in, in, her, in her womb for, let's say, uh, three months, two months, two months maybe. And according to the ayah, the flesh did not cover the bones yet. She gets a miscarriage. You know what a miscarriage is, right, Ferry? She drops the baby yeah. be before the nine months. We can say to the father, congratulations, you just became father to a skeleton baby, according to the ayah. <laughs> That's the ayah. The ayah is in front of you. It says, then in the last stage, the flesh covers the bones. What? The flesh covers the bones. So we can say to the Muslim father, hey, since you are following the Quran and you have to believe in the Quran, that means we can say to you, your wife, you know, it's sad. You're not going to become a father, a real father, because the baby just died in the, in the belly of the mother. But we can tell you, Which congratulations, month? congratulations, you just became a dad to a skeleton baby because that's what the ayah of the Quran is saying. You said you took biology classes. Why are you still a Muslim, my friend? Why are you still a Muslim? 
<laughs> you you want more evidence than that? What more evidence do you want? Yeah, we showed like, him that, that Isa is Allah. We showed him that Isa is uncreated. <coughs> what more evidence do you want? We showed you that Allah and, and the Messiah Bro, are God. I was Muslim for what a long more? time. I understand that. But like, what more evidence do you need? There you go, another evidence. I what is like, happening over like, here? I feel like really, really what is like happening over here? <laughs> Dude, what is happening over here? You tell me. The... Bro, we need to use that often. Congratulations, congratulations, Muslims. God forbid that we don't want any Muslim parent to experience uh, his wife getting miscarriage. But from okay. now on, if okay, we hear that a Muslim okay, I leave woman Islam. gets... Amen. Hallelujah. Hey, we are happy Hallelujah. Hey.